everybody. Welcome back to my Crafty Dan. It's Debbie here and today I am trying to plan for next week in my classic happy planner. I love this planner. This is the favorite, my favorite happy planner that I've had so far as far as the, um, as the cover and the, I, I, I glammed it up even a little bit. I put a row of the black um, gems, rhinestone gems, down the this part right here. Just because the, the black is so striking on this that it's my favorite cover so far. Um, and I love these black rings. However, I am sad because I'm not even halfway through it yet. And the way I plan, like, look at how big this has gotten. This little, this is four months and this is the rest. So this is just January to April. And this is the rest of the year. So by the time I'm done planning, I'm going to have to buy the expander discs. And I need them in black. They have to be in black in this book because that's the way I've done it so far. I need black. I need the black expander discs in my life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm planning for the week of May the 7th to the 13th. <clears throat> I did my little dog park, um, you know, the dog park theme last week. And as you can see, uh, after I put my work schedule in there, I worked tremendously the week before and I've had yesterday and then they called me last night and said I could have today off too so yeah I've worked a lot of hours I'm very very tired I slept most of yesterday um yeah and I don't usually ever take an afternoon nap and I laid down for 10 minutes and slept for three hours so yeah I was tired um so anyway I'm going to flip over and I'm going to take these two pages out and we hit the 20s, finally. Our snow, we've got a couple of big piles of snow in our yard from snow plowing. Um, and we, um, and they haven't melted yet. We have a lot of trees around us. Our house is nestled in the trees. Um, it's like very cottagey in here. We love the feel of it, um, which is why we chose this house when we moved in here. So I, because it's it's gotten summary it just got summery out all of a sudden like the ice is melting off of all the lakes i think it's gone off of you know 99 percent of them right now in this area anyway and i have this um planner kit one of my diy planner kits and i'm just gonna dump everything out and i made these kits for this reason because um, sometimes when I'm working, I'm too tired to just put all this together when I do it. And, and because of that, I've been known to just pass the week by. But now I have these really, really cool, um, kits. I found this birthday card, but it doesn't have anything on the front, but that's okay because I'm not going to use it as a birthday card. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But this is the theme. This is my jumping off point. Sorry about the glare, but this is the jumping off point for my uh, layout this week. So I've cut um, a bunch of these papers, the orange and the green, and I am going to just use my uh, my glue tape and put them in here. Now I have this orange washi tape. See that one? I have no sun coming in my window. It's a very dreary day. So all I'm getting today is the light from my my ceiling light, and um, and it's very. Yeah, it's it's kind of a glare coming in the window, even though it's overcast. It's hard to explain. Um, it's just a really weird, yeah. So I'm going to just put these all up here. I'm going to take the green washi, the orange washi, and I'll use this one up first, but these two are the same. And it's like a little, my camera doesn't even want to focus today. There. It's just a little pattern that has like the orange in it, which I thought would be kind of cute. So the only thing I have planned for this week, I haven't got my schedule yet, but Lucy has a vet appointment on Monday. So I'm going to stay home and take her to the vet. She's just going to be thrilled. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure she is. 
and um, I am going to put these on first. So let me just grab my tape runner. Uh, it doesn't look like I have a whole lot left in here, but I have another one in my box I can get if I run out. So I'm going to start, I think, with the orange. And I'm going to put... Well, I said I didn't have much left in here. I didn't realize I, I had a quarter of an inch. Isn't that silly? So I'm going to toss that. And I'm just going to reach in my storage box back here and see I've got a brand new one always have a brand new one so now that I'm opening this one the next time I'm at the Dollar Tree I'll just buy another one of those so yeah always have a brand new one <laughs> okay so that's much better so now I can take this and I can put it right there and I'm gonna take this one I'm going to go over to and put it down here. And then I'm going to take this one and go over to, and I'll go up one. This is just to spread them out. There's no reason for this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is just to spread them out. And then I'm going to take the, the greens. Oh, I love these ones. Aren't these ones awesome? So I have a few of these as well. Orange is like my favorite color, right? Um, at one point, we had a little house. Oh, it was a ways from here. Um but we loved it and it was out in the country it was our first little house out in the country and we started a hobby farm uh, i had ducks and chickens and some turkeys that i raised and there was a little pond it was very cute and um we loved it there it was just a, a little tiny house too i wish we actually wish we'd never left there um we did because of job opportunity, but yeah, it was nice there. So I'm going to go up here like this. No, maybe I'll do across from this one. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I've even lost my train of thought. I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is going to be a really rambly conversation because I can't even remember what I'm talking about, but, um, I'll try to concentrate a little bit more on what I'm doing, too. But anyway, our kitchen out there, I wanted to paint it. And it had, you know the standard builder's cupboards that you get that are like a beige with a vinyl -y cover, cover over them, that type of a, a cabinet? Well, we had those. And I called the I called it the killer beige kitchen. The walls were painted beige, the dining room was beige, the cupboards were beige, and the only color that was in there that broke anything up was just that little wooden strip that goes, you know, there's the cupboard door and then that little wooden strip across the bottom that's supposed to suffice as a handle. So that's all the color that was in there. So I decided that I needed some orange in my life. And we painted the bulkhead over the kitchen cabinets and the walls in the dining room a bright, bright orange with that beige. And it was the most wonderful color. It was just amazing. It was almost a um, a fiery orange. It was it was so nice. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was marvelous. So anyway, to get back to my planner. So I'm not going to do a whole lot on here. I don't have a bunch of stickers to add to it and stuff like that. I'm just going with my boxes this week. I want to do something really, really simple. And I'm going to take this orange. Hmm, there it is. Sometimes it's just hard to find the end of the washi, isn't it? So I'm going to take this and cover up this green. Okay, 
it on there nice and straight there and I need see I'm not prepared today I'm usually not like this that's too too thin I need a card so I can rip this off well here's an old key card It's funny that I work at a resort um, and clean rooms and do laundry and stuff like that. I think I've mentioned that before. And um, we find key cards from other hotels in the rooms all the time. So I'm constantly got a key card. I find it, it funny when I find a key card from somewhere else. I have no idea why. It isn't really, but... Well, I gotta turn my paper this way. I'm just all thumbs today. There. Whoops, see, that didn't even wanna do that. I honestly am having trouble today. Um, yeah. It's awful. There, so that's it. I'm going to grab my book because I can't put anything in the way of actual planning until, except for this, I can't put anything in here in the way of actual planning until I get my work schedule and it doesn't come out. I won't have that until the weekend for next week. Um, this time of the year, it's so, uh, it's, I don't even know what how, what to call it. It's so um, up and down in the way of bookings that we never know if we're going to be busy or not. We could all of a sudden be swamped and only have a couple of days notice or the weather could become terrible and we get cancellations or, um, yeah, it's like that this time of the year. We're not in the summer season yet. We're out of the winter season and spring and fall here are typically really iffy. Um, for the weather, we're in cottage country, and yeah, like I said, the ice is just going out of the lakes, so people aren't really quick to jump on the lakes to go fishing or go boating or anything like that because they haven't warmed up enough, and um, you know, the wind could pick up at any time and the rain, and so who wants to come up to their cottage right now? A lot of people do, though, because they just like to sit about the, you know, their fireplace and watch the water from their front windows and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to grab my book and I'm going to open it up and put it back in here. And this is why I love my black discs. My black discs just make everything pop to me it's so this black stripe it's at the bottom the bold black numbers on the dates and I haven't hardly covered my dates up this year with the black discs and these black numbers I love it and I love the fact that my tabs are black um, they're black on one side and white on the other side so I always know and uh, and I love it so I'll show you what I'm going to do with this card just let me grab something right over here. I had to go in my tool drawer. And I have this. This is my Create 365, my classic sized hole punch. I'm going to put my card right in here. And I'm going to hope I hope that it'll it'll go all the way in. I might move it up a little bit. I want the holes punched. I'm 
trying to line it up. there trying to line it up so that the top all these holes will punch it and I only miss a few so it's very hard when your paper's that thick but it does work it's just hard um at first I thought it didn't work on cardstock so this is a card so it's two pages of cardstock and it went through that as you can see but it's a really tight squeeze so in here I am just going to, I am just going to cover this with a piece of white paper. I actually have these. This will work. Just a couple stickers, white stickers over that. And now I have... Now I have this nice little card in the middle here, but what I have is a place to make a list. So the reason I'm going to try starting to put a card or some kind of an insert into my, um, this is my personal planner, my, my home planner. So this has my work schedules, but for me, um, the last two weeks back at work, I've had trouble keeping track of my trades. So I thought rather than just have sloppy notes all over my page, I'll stick a card in here. Then I can write down little notes to myself who I've traded with and who I've swapped with. So I have my ATCs, inches and twinchies, and, um, and my paper crafting swaps to keep track of. And I need to know who I've, who I've traded with just to be able to remember, stuff is coming to me in the mail, and it's a surprise because I'm forgetting who I've already sent stuff out to. Um, I'm a, I'm I'm quick to jump on it when I've got a um a trade, so I'll get it done and get it in the mail. And uh, sometimes it's it gets out there a little bit early, but I don't mind that so much. So this is my spread this week. It's been rambly. It's been everywhere. I apologize for that. Um, actually, as the summer goes on and I get more sleep deprived, you may find a few more of these videos, but that's me. I am what I am. So um, I hope you like this video. I hope this gives you an idea um, on how simple it can be to plan a page like this is functional this is going to be functional but this is going to be nice and bright when this is sitting on my desk and I have this on here I'm going to be able to look at this and the only thing that I will do now is when I write in here I will make sure that I use my uniball vision um, and I will actually write nice because it's a bold layout I am going to write very very bold in here just like this So my, my notes to myself this week, well, like from, from now throughout the summer, will probably be fairly simple layouts, um, designing around a card and just using a paper pad to cut pieces out that match it. Like this goes well together, I think. Um, the reason I chose this this week was because, like I said, it went up into the 20s. Um, in, in some places around not too far away, it went into the high 20s. And I'm not a drinker, but in the summertime when it's really, really hot, I don't mind a nice margarita. I can tell you. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that. So, yeah, my sister and I have been known to drink a couple of them once in a while. So that's what it reminded me of. The hot weather's coming. Got to get together with the sisters and have a little drink. And uh, we're going to have to plan something soon. So anyway, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have a mind to, it would help me out amazingly if you would comment and share. and 
please don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.